Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. But 10 seconds before we get started, I made this video to help you, so please help me if it helps you. It only takes a second or two. It's a great help if you subscribe, like, and or leave a comment down below. That's it. Let's get started. Today I'll be showing you how to check your automatic transmission fluid on your 95 through 2002 Mazda Millennia. Alright guys, so the first thing you got to do is go ahead and drive your car for a little bit. Go ahead and get it nice and warmed up. Then, while you're still in the driver's seat here, go ahead and shift your shifter through all the gears. And then you're going to leave your car on and put it in park and leave it in the park position and also in the running position. Okay guys, and while your car is in park and in the running position, we're going to grab your dipstick right over here. Oh, sorry about that. And I'm going to show you where it's at. See, it's right here. And you're going to pull it out. And you're going to clean it off. Then we're going to stick it back in. And we're going to wipe it clean and see what it looks like. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to reach down in here and pull the automatic transmission dipstick out. I'm going to then wipe it off like I just told you to do there. And then we're going to stick it back in. And make sure your rag is clean. You need a clean rag to do this. If not, you could... I'm going to cause automatic transmission problems. So, all right, now I'm going to pull it back out. And now we're going to take a look at our measure here. Okay, guys, and now you can see what I've got here on the dipstick. On the dipstick, I've got this uh, fluid reading here. And you can see it kind of stops right there where my finger is. Now, I'm assuming, I don't know for a fact here, but the bottom two, this one and this one, those two notches right there, that's for like the cold check and then I'm assuming these top two are here are for the hot check so um, you always want to check it while it's hot and as long as it's between these two top notches right here you should be just fine so um, once you've checked it while your car is hot then you'll now have an accurate reading on your automatic transmission fluid dipstick and that sums up uh, today's video I thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time well guys, unfortunately that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. And fortunately, you can catch me again right here on Facebook tomorrow on my next video. Just don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave lots of comments down below. Well, thanks again guys for watching and see you tomorrow right here on Facebook.